Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today we're doing a sketchbook tour of my first ever sketchbook I ever did. Ever. Um, I know it's been a while since I've uploaded. Um, I've been working a lot this summer. I went and worked at a Christian summer camp this summer and it was probably the best summer of my life. But um, I'm back and um, hopefully I'll be doing a lot of sketchbook tours because I have how many sketchbooks? Um, let's see. I have 38 sketchbooks I have to look through. By the time I get to the 38th one, the 38th one will be done, which is this one. It is a ELO sketchbook. This is a cheap Walmart sketchbook that I got in 2016. Yep. Yeah. Let's look through it. Okay. The welcome page. Um, little hand and some little little doodles. I had a lot more freedom in these books. You can really tell. This is um two of my friends and me. On. Um, May 18th, 2016. No self portrait. Some still lives from my mama's boutique that she had in 2016. A little, little beach trip. This is supposed to be a boat. It looks like a basket. I had no idea what perspective was like when it came to three dimensional. So yeah, that was bad. My Roblox character from 2016. I played a lot of um, Survive the Disaster, and this is like one of the things that I had made for myself. Little tree lady. <clears throat> I think I went to Lake Waccamaw the day I made this. That was actually not that bad of a sense, but I was obsessed with Undertale for a hot minute because I like watched a bunch of um, videos on it. My man, I'm just kidding. Um, but Kakashi, he is probably my favorite um, character from Naruto. For this man. I think there's a lot more of him in here. Yep, <laughs> there he is again. And Skitty. That's actually a pretty nice Skitty. Just a cat and a flower. This is a lot. Oh, if there is a light, don't put it out. This is from a song. I cannot remember what song. My emo sage, my dudes. <clears throat> I feel like everyone has made art like this before. Uh, oh well. <laughs> art block. A little skeleton dude. These are so boring. Oh my goodness. I was on the way back from a mission trip. I actually remember doing this on the bus. Because our youth pastor was speeding everywhere he went. Yeah, it was June. There's Hiccup from How Train Your Dragon. John Cozart, because I was a big fan of him for a while. Let's see this. I don't know what this is. I still don't know what this is. <clears throat> Random like dude this. Yeah, that's all pastel. Or crayon. <laughs> Mew. I did like really derpy and uneven the Vulpix. The ear is missing. Yep, I drew a lady and forgot to give her an ear. Oh, this is when I got my Copics. These are all Copic markers. Yeah, these are Copics. I chose out the worst colors for it. Hand practice and these dudes. Why are my hands actually good back then? We will fade. That's an oil pastel. It feels weird. Just some more height blending, I guess. Creepy stuff. No, okay. Oh my gosh, um, uh, Rhea, Rhea Lamia live stream. See, I used to watch her live streams on Twitch a lot, and this is one of the characters that um, was made up for one of the streams. I would love to actually do a redraw of this. I think that would be fun. 
I might actually go ahead and mark this page with a starburst wrapper for a redraw video. This may be getting redrawn. That's Foxy. She's changed a lot with it's from like my first OC ever. Tickets to um a thing at the Cherokee Theater. I spelled Cherokee wrong. Little kitty. Um more Copic sketches. Well not yeah. So actually technically Copic sketches made a Copic sketch made with Copic sketches. This is in crayon and Sharpie. I remember making this because I was really proud of it. I'm still really kind of proud of the blending I did with the um, crayons. <clears throat> Me trying out hairstyles. Another, um, this is a friend of mine online, her OC. Another character from a little thing with Foxy. But yeah, Romulus Bubonic. I remember making this because when I made it, it kind of looked like one of my friends. It's faded a lot, but it still looks pretty decent. <laughs> oh, derpy kitty. Meow. Oh, goodness. I drew all my warrior OCs as, um... As people. Stainpill. I remember his story. He was a solid white cat. Who escaped a fire when he did his fur was stained gray and it wouldn't change back. Feather mind. <laughs> what? Okay. Apollo, what are you doing? Oh, she's drinking water. That's that noise. I remember making this. I was really proud of it. I had a habit of drawing a lot of like galaxies, like faces in galaxies or faces in nature. That was like a big thing for me. I really like this. Just some stained glass work, like copying stained glass. <laughs> I tried to draw um, Squid Nugget from YouTube. He was um, friends with um, Stampy Cat. He kind of looks like Mario. I did this when my um, my grandma Patsy passed away. She wasn't really my grandma; she was like a cousin, but we called her Grandma Patsy. I remember sitting at her house drawing this. It's actually a really good picture. Um, some eyeballs. Eyeballs. Um, another OC, I cannot remember her name. I think it's Sapphire. But it was like an equestrian girl kind of thing. But I didn't watch the equestrian girls because I was not the biggest fan of My Little Pony. I like this. It's cool. Oh, it's um sticker. That's cool. I'm not gonna tear it out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you like my rays? Some more little random sketches. I remember making this because this was the first um, piece of artwork that got liked by a YouTuber that I watched and I thought it was really cool. What a frog on wings. I love that. Mermaid. Oh, this is when I started watching um, Steven Universe and you can really tell in my art style from this, this page on that I was influenced by that. It's a post time. No. Um, just some little stickers that I made. Little cat did. There is a letter in here. Yeah, there's a letter in here. But I'm not going to read it. It's a little letter to myself. I already know what it says, sort of. But that's something personal. So I'm going to leave it there. Yep. <laughs> I drew this in class and someone had wrote this and stuck it on me. Cause that's something I had said that day. Some more sketches. I remember doing this. I was really happy with it when I did that.
another friend's OC. I did this with makeup. Yep. Oh, these are my two houseplants I had. They no longer exist because they're both dead. But I was really happy with these because the way I did the backgrounds and everything. I feel like my art has gone backwards lately. Because these are actually decent for um, a 15 year old me. Foxy or Jesse as a child. That's actually a decent sketch. Teenager and adult. I think that was supposed to be the idea of it. I'm not going to finish Obsidian. This was my idea of what Obsidian would look like in Steven Universe. I need to finish. I'm gonna do another sketch of this, actually. So another Starburst <laughs> wrapper. So any of the Starburst wrapper pages are gonna be pages I'm gonna make a video of and I'm gonna redraw the characters. This is what I think Garnet and Steven's fusion probably should have looked like. But as the, um, uh, is it Fire, Firestone, Fire Quartz? Um, Oh, I cannot remember the name of the character that's going to and Steven together, but I really love that character. And I love that they broke the third wall. Fourth wall. Fourth wall. Something like that. I can't remember. Brain's not working today. Me practicing um, Steven Universe um, faces. A little landscape. I actually like how watercolor goes on this paper. It was really cheap watercolor too, but it was like really nice. At the same time, I this page. Thanks for the love. Oh, that's cute. Another portrait. Another one. Oh, I like this. That's actually really pretty. The amount of freedom I had in my sketchbooks when I was younger is so much more than what I used to, what I have now. I strive to get that back. Dog, 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 man, bro, Lil, Eva, ah, 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 love. There's Fred the Evil Goldfish. I love this dude right here. I love him with a passion. He is life itself. Fred the Evil Goldfish forever will be the love of my life. <laughs> For real though, he is actually one of my favorite sketches I've done in my lifetime. I don't know why. It's just really stupid and derpy and I love it. Well, this was a friend of mine who was trying to do a book cover and I was trying to draw it for him, but I don't think we ever came to a conclusion on that. <laughs> I tried, but this one never happened. 15 year old me trying to get into a relationship. Mm, no. <laughs> And that's it. This book ended on August 29th, 2016. 
Wait, my eyes are out there. I could just read that. This is covered up because it's my personal information. Yeah. But, and then the back of the, I actually want to go to the cover. This is a random tag. Why jump in? Um, spider webs, because I thought they were cool. Um, so we got two things in here that I'm going to redraw. This one, which I think is going to be pretty interesting. And obsidian. I'll make videos of me drawing, redrawing those two, but for now, thank y'all so much for watching this video, and I really hope y'all have a wonderful day. I know this is more of a shorter sketch tour, but it's because it's literally a small book, and there wasn't really much to go over in it. <clears throat> um, in my next drawing video, I am going to do like a, hey, this is what's happened to me in the last like couple months, because I know that the setting here is definitely different. And that's because um, I moved back in with my parents. Yay. I didn't want to, but sometimes you have to do things that you don't want to do. That is this video. I love you guys. I hope to see y'all later. Wow.